Ray from Game Server Setup. Today we're going to be installing 7 Days to Die Server Edition on Ubuntu 64-bit 14.04. Um, there's a guide written on my website on this that basically lists all the commands and text for you to copy and paste into your um, command line. Um, the one thing is, this is this guide's designed for a non-screen um, server. Basically this is designed for a dedicated server, not a uh, not something you remote into, but actually using the server in front of you. Um, if you're going to be remoting into the server, you need to install Screen with it. Um, just Google Screen Linux, and it's a really simple install to set up, and that way it continues to run after you close your command line window or putty window or however you're remoting into your machine. So um, just so you know, you might want to do that. I'll probably put that in my um, written guide too, because I did see I was missing that when I reread this. So let me go ahead and uh, start with what we need to go. This is a brand new um, version of uh, Ubuntu 64-bit 14.04. Uh, nothing has been done to it. Um, just straight install. So hopefully um, my guide is complete and we don't have to worry about any other things. If it's not, we'll fix it and get it going from there. So first off, we need to grab a script that a user created to make install very, very easy. Um, so I'm typing it in here and it's on the website if you want to just copy and paste it or view it. Like right now I'm using my website to just look at it because I never could remember this URL. But bootstrapper and then no nope, bootstrap gotta pick you up by your bootstraps boy. What is this? It's like SH, I think. Yeah, SH. Yes, yes. SH, and then we download the script. Let me just read, read over this real quick. Seven days to die, bootstrap, blah, 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 blah. Enter. Hey, look. Awesome. So we got that downloaded. So if we look inside, there's my bootstrap. Now we got to make this uh, executable so we can actually do something with it. So we're going to chmod it uh, with the plus X and then bootstrap. You probably might want to actually move this into a directory where you want your seven days to die. I'm not sure. All right. All right. So now we see that. And now it's executable. So now we should just be able to execute it. And it does some a lot of the work for us. Parameters. All right. So we want to use the dash I. Oh, as it's written in my guide. So install. This will give us seven blah 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 according to the information given on the blah blah blah. Yes, continue. Now it's in download everything for us. Look at all this crap we would have had to download without it. Oh, I love scripts. Scripts make the world go around. So now, um, eh, 81 megabytes. Yes, I would like to do that. All right, so now it's going to be downloading, looks like, all the freaking updates it needs to run 7 Days to Die. Pretty awesome stuff. I wonder if I can make this bigger. Hold on, I'm going to see if I can make this bigger for you guys. One-to-one yeah. -one mode. Ah, no scale to fit. Uh, uh, mm. Oh, well, that's all you get. I don't even know if you can read it. We'll have to look at the video otherwise. See if I have to redo this whole thing. Anyways, now it's downloading and installing the Linux engine after it's already compiled. And so this will need to be your Steam username and password, I assume. What is mine? You know, you never use them. Um. Uh... Hey, you get something right, you know? That's awesome. Alright, so... I'm actually surprised that Steam Guard didn't come in and try to double-check my settings there. Usually does it with everything else. Oh, now it's logging in. And it's thinking. And it's thinking. Yep, there's the Steam Guard code. I was waiting for it. All right, so now I'm going to my email on my other screen here. Got it. So, JW6M7. Oh, don't 
don't use the numpad on virtual machines, right? Six and seven. Waiting for license info, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I own Seven Days to Die. It's a great game. And now we're going to be downloading. Um, I have a 50 megabit connection to my house, so it probably won't take too long, but for if you have a slower, like, uh, say, 1.5 DSL connection, you probably shouldn't be running a server at your home anyways. <laughs> um, bandwidth usage is actually not that intensive for 7 Days to Die, even with a big server, like, say, 24 players. Um, they actually did a pretty decent job on managing packets out and in. I will be using, I have an enterprise grade router. Um, let me go ahead and uh, log into that while we're waiting on this download to happen. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, and then. All right, there we go. So I have like a ton of things, there it is. So 192.168.1.1, or is it .2.1, .2.1, .2.1, okay. I don't even know my own home network, that's how much I care anymore. Alright, yes, advance, proceed. Alright. Alright. So now, let me go over and just change my open broadcaster to just let you see what I'm seeing. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off the window. There we go. So this is an Edgemax router, so it actually shows me everything. So I'll be going ahead and tracking um, the up and down, the TX and RX, of when, at, when I actually get people onto the server. So we can actually see what's going on. Um, Right now, uh, all I have is just a really basic route set up, and I'm sure my firewall rule sets will have to be changed to DHCP. Um, basically, for everyone that has, uh, if that's going to be trying to run this at home without a public IP, such as the US, this is public, but if you don't have a public IP, like I don't, because I'm not paying for a set of them, um, we have this internal network that's a 192.168.1. You'll probably have something different. It could be 10. something. It could be uh, any class C network anyways. Um, just Google your IP address, um, and, you, and then you could tell if it's easily a, a public or a static. But anyways, so here's uh, my LAN 2, and I'll be actually switching my server, my virtual machine, to a different subnet after I'm done just to make it easier to track. Anyways, but we're all done downloaded with stuffs so now we should be able to uh, go blah 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 alright so now that we have everything installed we actually need to do something with it so we got our steam um, do we need to navigate anywhere what's going on steam guard at the game blah, 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 blah. nope actually just changes our bash perfect the script is awesome big fan so 70 dot sh and then instances is the command. Create, and then you want it whatever your server name wants to be. Uh, super server, whatever. Instant name. Um, super. Server name. Super. Uh, server password. Super. Everything's super. Public is true. Base port. Let's just leave it at the default 2500. Uh, let's make it 20 players for fun. Disable NAT. Uh, uh, we'll say true for now, but that should actually be depending on how your network's set up. Um, enable valve and the treat, please. Hackers are annoying. Maximum zombies to create 60. Uh, let's make it one. Ugh. Numpad doesn't work. Remember these 120. All right. Oh, you guys probably can't see what I'm typing too well because it's all small because I didn't switch you back to Windows mode. Hold on. Let me switch it back to Windows mode. And make it. Actually, does that even matter for you guys? You know, what? it probably doesn't even matter for you guys. Never mind. I'll just leave it like that. I can make this bigger. That doesn't matter either. Never mind. I'll stop messing with it. You guys can read that. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, so enable control panel. False. Uh, you can. 
you can play with that later if you want. There's actually the really nice control panel that comes with it um, for web usage. I always do everything through PuTTY though. That's just how I've learned to do it because I started when it was before the internet had graphics apparently. Um, password is password for right now. I don't really care. We'll change it. Game name, Bob. Uh, world, random gen. You can change whatever you want it to. Of course, there's tons of thousand options. Uh, day count, uh, three, frag, default, default, default. Show friends a map, friendly fire, yeah, false. Items to block, blah, blah, blah. Oh, blah, blah. As you can tell, without a script, this would be really annoying to do. So, got everything all done there. Now we got the next spot of, uh, oh, sorry, a little choking there. Now we uh, just have to start it. So, sudo, seven days to die, die sh, start command, and then whatever we named our server, super, I think it was just super, done, yes. Now, if you want to look at all the other commands, like for seven day to die, die sh, that, just type that and it shows you where we can go. So if we want to see the status of our given instance, uh, we have to name it. I think it was all caps. Caps is correct. Yep, so we see that it's actually up and running. Yay! And there you go. Server's up and running. You should be able to connect to it, send your friends to it. And if you're like me, you can also grab your look at your router because you'll have to port forward. So like if this is, I don't remember what I think this is. I have config is 168.72. What? Oh, am I using NAT through my VMware? Oh, so I actually have a third network. Anyways, I'll just port for the things to the 196.172. Um, for you, it's going to look a lot easier because this one is like enterprise grade. I mean, this is a $300 router right here. It's not cheap. Um, but it's just because I like spending money, apparently, for no reason. But I like it. So it has load balancing stuff for my multiple connections. But So we'll do that. And... Uh, then you should be able to get everyone from the outside to connect. You should be actually be able to connect from the inside right now. If my router is working correctly, which I'm not sure it will be. Uh, uh, I haven't updated this, I don't think, in a while. Let's see. Yeah, it's fun pimps. All right, so are you guys still in windowed mode? Let me double check that you can actually see what I'm doing. Yep, looks like we're good. So, connect to server. Um, so this will be 192.168.172.128. This seems weird to me. Our password is, uh, did I set a password? I think I did. Shit. Password super. There it goes. There we go. Boom! We're connected to our server. Yay! I love the music in this game. There you go. Built the environment, starting Bob mode, <laughs> survival MP. <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it. Um, and you might want to, if you're using Linux, you might want to monitor your resources. Uh, I actually prefer, uh, I mean, you can use top, top works, I guess, for some things. It shows you at the top there, let me get my mouse back, your memory usage. Uh, it shows you swap, free buffers. Um, but if you want to be a little bit, make it a little easier on your eyes, uh, what is exit on this thing? Q? Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, you might want to download HTOP. It looks a little bit better. Uh, and make
makes it just a little bit more easy on your eyes. Each top. There we go. So now we got a nice little graphical thing up on top here. Uh, so we can see that I only put two cores on my virtual machine, which is, should be more than enough. But we can already see my two gigs of memory is getting hard hit right there, which is, but it should be fine. I'm playing. Go kill a pig. Come back here, pig. I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun. Anyways, and that's how you uh, create Seven Days to Die server for on your Linux environment. There's also a Windows version um, on my profile if you need it, if you want to do it on Windows. It's pretty much the same steps. Um, it's just a little more easier because there's more graphical stuff. Um, there's some great configuration tools out there as well if you want some server management stuff just google that um, and as always all the commands I've used are on my website and as you can see they do work and it is confirmed all right if you have any questions just write me a comment on my website and I'll be happy to help you out talk to you guys later